Hi there. So this is this video's continuation really of the 3D uh, set of videos I did um, just previously. Now we have the um, 3D scene that we've seen and I've done uh, some analysis in here using the uh, exploratory 3D analysis tools. Now in the 2D map we can still use various uh, geoprocessing tools and various uh, tools that come with spatial analyst or 3d analyst uh, what I'm going to show in this one this video is the visibility analysis uh, geoprocessing tool uh, actually straight from the menu menu bar and this will be on this um, DTM single tile of, of height data of elevation data that I used previously so I've got this displayed here. It's it's in these colours because we're right hand mouse click on here. I've I've set my colours from that. Uh, don't forget you can get a format colour scheme and create your own, uh, just how you want them to um, look. But I've just chosen one of the default ones. Now what I'd like to do here is from a set of observation points, uh, see which. Uh, one or more from a set of target points I can see I can actually uh, view the visibility analysis tool this one up here will give that sort of line of sight uh, analysis now like I said this this is a spatial analyst spatial analyst and 3d analyst tool so it, it's not going to be there if, if you don't have that uh, license so how does this work well What's going to happen here is I'm going to click on the map for observation points and then I'm going to click on the map um, more than one time uh, for a target point. So if you see here, first of all, it already has defaulted the input surface to this TIFF, so it's the only one got loaded, so it's going to be that one. Now with observer points, I could, if, if I had some points already here, just select that layer and it would use all of them or indeed selection. So that's how you could look from a whole of one table to a, you know, to a whole of another. And so you may have a table, a ge ge uh, database, uh, a feature set, feature class with one set of, uh, one feature class with a load of observation points in, and then underneath a load of uh, a feature class with a load of target points in. So you just choose them. What you can do though, is just enter manually. If you, if you see this, um, map point tool here if I click what it will do is then show coordinates see I can actually see what the coordinates are there so let's just set three yeah so let's do let's say one over there one over there so these are my ob observation points and like I said I'm just manually clicking somewhere okay let's just do a fourth over there just for the sake of it now for target points again we're going to enter manually so let's click on that tool and let's say one target is down there. That's in. That's actually in the quarry. I know. You see how dark green that is. It's very low, so I can't see that really being seen by anyone. Uh, then let's do one at the top there. Uh, dark red. See that's high. Yeah, that's a high figure. Let's do one there. One, two, three, and then one down. Let's say in the valley sort of thing down there. That light green. So I've now entered those four. You see the coordinates there, and I can click and edit and do what I like. Uh, this bit here, output linear line of sight, is just the name. So let's just call it tutorial. Tutorial. It's going gonna, it's gonna to use its naming convention. It's going to um, tack it onto the name. Uh, height above surface. Let's let's say um, a meter. Um, which is, yeah, you can make it a meter. The, the observer is one meter high, and the target is one meter high. Uh, set that to to what you will as you can see there's meters now what we'll do is run this so this is finished processing let's now just work out uh, what is what is done what, how is it presented these things where they're stored and what do they what does it mean now if you look on the left side here in your 
um, content with all the layers. You'll see it's actually created this group called Tutorial. This is actually a feature data set. So in there you've got the observers, the targets, um, the actual output uh, with the, the line line features, what's, what's um, uh, visible and what's not visible, i.e. green and red, and then the actual line of sight lines, which I'll, I'll just show the show those by, by clicking them off in a second. Where, where, where are all these stored? Well, in, in databases here on the catalog pane, with a, um, uh, this is my make, make, uh, default pr uh, geodatabase, this tutorials ones. Uh, I've, I haven't got any other databases there, so make default is grayed out, and it's already grayed out. You see there's a little little picture of a house there because that means it's the default one for the project so um, that's been made uh, default for the project now if I just um, actually let's just refresh that so clicking on it will give me this uh, tutorial because that's what I typed in um, in the uh, parameters box and you can see it's created this feature data uh, data set and we've got points and line objects, observers, the actual output, the sight lines themselves, and the targets. So that's how it, it um, stores it. That's where it stores it. Now, let's have a look at all this stuff going on. First of all, you can see in observers these three symbols. So there's no, um, nothing's out of extent of, of the sort of view. We're using this TIFF, so that's going to be the extent of the area of analysis. The red dot in the in that circle is no visible target, so this one, this one, and this one has can't see anything. What about this one over there that has that sort of bluey cyan colour? It has visible targets, so you can see. Now, in terms of the um, actual targets themselves, one, two, are uh, not visible uh, by any any um, observer, but the green ones are. So if I click on that one, that green one there, which just has a uh, a one, it clearly says there's one observer, and you can see what the Z is. But of course, we added a meter, so the offset there uh, takes it to uh, six nine meters. So you can see with the number. On there that that's telling you how many observers uh, can see that point and there's just one for each of those let's just sort of clear things a bit so you can see and see if you can get rid of that so you can see what's um, visible and what isn't in terms of uh, the green and um, red lines but this one is actually an interesting one because this is showing See, there's a white line going across there. Actually, that's uh, perhaps not as clear. So if we oh, if we go to um, let's change that one to something that stands out a bit more. There you go. So you can see that uh, those two. So it's fr it was from this one. It was from this observer point that those two points could be seen. So that is a quick um, demonstration of, of visibility and uh, analysis, the visibility analysis tool. We kind of did the same sort of thing in the 3D scene in a previous video, um, but this is showing it using um, those, that, that, that analysis tool. Let me just pin this down. So just to end this video, what I'm going to do is just show you a um, a visibility uh, a, a view shed tool using a geoprocessor using one of the tools. So if I go into uh, here into geoprocessing and type in view shed, because I've got spatial analyst, analyst and three D analyst going, I'll actually be showing quite a a few options and there's various visibility um, options because you may want to return a raster for example which is I think yeah I think that's what we'll do because we've been just returning these vectors with the answers and stuff but let's create a raster uh, 
surf surface. So I'll do that um, relatively quickly. So that, that's using the spatialized tools. There's various things about using multiple cores and cloud processing and all this sort of thing. And, and I'll cover that in another um, video, but we're just going to run this spatialized tool. Input raster is this TIFF, of course. The uh, Now, again, I can input uh, what I've had before. So, um, yeah, why not? Why don't we just select our previous observers as, as our um, list? Output um, raster, yeah, I'll just use it. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it as, uh, um, as that, I don't mind. Uh, the rest of it, let's just leave it. So I don't think there's. Uh, oh, we, we can we can set various extent information, etc. But but they're standard raster stuff in the main. And um, I'll be I'll be doing another sort of more more complex um, set of videos on raster uh, at another time. So this this is finished. And again, what where is it and was it was it showing me? Let's go to catalog pane. We probably do. Oh, it's it's um, in there already. But let's just do a refresh anyway. Um, so if I click on that raster data set, there it is. So it's stored it, um, and it's stored it in there because um, it's created a raster. So you can see what band one raster. And um, what what is it created on here and added? You can see. If I turn that off, you see how the um, uh, th this is actually a raster surface model uh, that is created. If I, uh, you can see what is viewable, what areas are viewable by a number of observers, and that's what the different colours are. You see, so red is is a, um, that classification, that class is um, set to be drawn in red uh, and it's three um, uh, three observers three observers for, for, for that area on the on the raster so you could then continue to use this for any sort of raster um, uh, further raster analysis um, in, in any other operation so this will just behave as a raster so you see how it's um, got a Pixel value, that's a pixel value two. That's a three, um, and it's no observer. That'll be one. It's the number of observers, and it's got a total count uh, of that. So you can use that in your various raster maths, um, further raster analysis processes. Like I said, we'll we'll be doing a bit more on this anyway. But that's how you create a surface uh, uh, surface um, raster surface um, from a view shed tool and don't forget you need the license for spatial analyst uh, and and or 3d analyst and the tool geoprocessing toolbox will sort of tell you see it says analysis um, it will tell you what kind of tools um, are available so when I clicked on view shed it's telling you quite quite clearly spatial analyst and 3d analyst uh, options. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.